asteroid potentially bigger than London Bridge is on collision, well, on course to intersect our Earth's orbit. Now, one of these days, avid sky gazers may witness a space rock over 100 meters or over 300 feet wide approaching our Earth. Fortunately, scientists don't expect this to collide with our planet. Asteroid 214 QJ33, which NASA is currently keeping tabs on, is expected to enter Earth's orbit September 17. It'll whiz by at a speed of about 19,371 miles an hour. And what's remarkable about its size is it's potentially exceeding its larger than the London Bridge. And luckily, it's set to fly by Earth's surface at a safe distance of about one and a half million miles. Specifically, the space agency predicts the celestial body to be anywhere between 50 meters and 100 meters, that's about 150 feet to 300 feet in width, while London's top landmark on the River Thames, the London Bridge, spans roughly 104 meters, that's over 300 feet. Now, the giant space rock is an Apollo asteroid. The Apollo asteroids intersect the Earth's orbit and they fall under the category of near-Earth objects, which, according to NASA's classification, refers to any comet or asteroid that flies by our planet within 1.3 astronomical units. One astronomical unit, or AU, is the average is between the, the distance between Earth and the Sun, which is about 92 million miles. An ANEO, a near-Earth object, is also a term used to describe comets and asteroids that have been nudged by the gravitational attraction of nearby planets into orbits that allow them to enter our Earth's neighborhood. Another synonymous but narrower term, no less frequently used, is potentially hazardous asteroid, or PHA. And according to NASA, PHAs are currently determined based on the asteroid's measured potential to make a dangerously close flyby to our Earth. In particular, all asteroids with a minimum orbit intersection distance or MOID of 0.05 AU or less and an absolute magnitude of H of 22 or less are defined as PHAs. NEOI's data suggests that there are 4,700 plus or minus 1,500 potentially hazardous asteroids with a diameter greater than 300 feet in space even though the matter has historical, uh, historically attracted quite a few biblical end-of-world speculations, Earth has not seen an asteroid of apocalyptic scale since the space rock that wiped out the dinosaurs, an extinction-level event over 66 million years ago. That was the asteroid that struck in the Yucatan Peninsula. The majority of tracked asteroids don't come into direct contact with Earth's atmosphere, but in rare instances, the giant space bodies can impact the work of weather systems. This is on Sputnik News by Leela Dergacheva. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today more of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.